This is John Friend, the postmaster of Potter, Kansas, the sole representative of the Postal Service to a jurisdiction known as 66077, population 150. He has been executing the responsibilities of the Postal Service to Potter for four years, just as other postmasters have since mail service was established here 90 years ago. And this is Mary Cummings, who moved to Potter 15 years ago from Atchison, not just because of her deep love for small towns, but because of her concern for her health. And like everyone else in Potter, Kansas, this is part of her morning ritual, the pleasurable experience of picking up the mail. Good morning, John. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine. There's mail. There's the mail. Well, it's a lovely day today. Yeah, quite a change from the first week, isn't it? It surely is. A lot of farmers will be in the fields before long. Well, I hope so, but they're talking Ironic that small the communities field. should pick the local post office for their social center. There's usually something so unsocial about it, with all its bureaucratic trappings, its posted bomb contingency plans, and long strings of FBI wanted posters. But at the Potter Post Office, some of those posters take on very personal meaning, because Postmaster Friend is a man of his name. So I enjoy it, I enjoy the people. They're the same and yet they're different. They have different problems every day and different events happening in town. It is kind of enjoyable to me. I've been around people quite a bit and that's the thing I enjoy the most is working with the people. Will you miss it? Oh, I sure will. Of course, I've been offered other positions in the Postal Service, but uh, oh, I'm kind of small town at heart, I guess. There isn't much change in a little town like Potter, Kansas, but any change there is is deeply felt, and it's usually felt with sadness. Because about the only way things change in a little town like Potter is by disappearing. Two banks have already done that, so as a telephone office, a cheese factory, a lumber yard, a furniture store, a hotel, and a newspaper. Even the two churches here have been consolidated into one community church, but it has a new carol on. And just to give you an idea of how much change is felt here, when it sprang to life last fall, a farmer working in a field near town said, I thought my time had come. But the new carol on echoes through empty buildings. And if the post office goes, those echoes might become a death knell. I think it would have a drastic effect. Uh, I, be, I believe that uh, the town would practically go because this post office is the hub and the center of a great amount of activity. There is something incongruous about that Uncle Sam wants you sign in the post office these days. As incongruous as the speeches the people of Potter keep hearing about the importance of revitalizing rural America. And they are wondering, during this crossroads in American history, if the American dream has changed. Wendell Anschutz, Place to Place, Potter, Kansas. <laughs>